Hi everyone, I'm John from ProDake Labs and this is session number six, Generating Mesh. This video will teach you us how to generate mesh on assembly, parts, surfaces, and complex parts in ANSYS Workbench. After completing this session, you will be able to understand mesh refinements, understand different types of local mesh controls, generate meshes for assembly components, understand contact regions, understand contacts, generate mesh for surfaces. So let's get started. Thank you, John, for briefing on mesh for assembly and its important parameters. This video demonstrates the influence of different advanced size function options. To get started, Add the Model Analysis System to Project Schematic window. Rename the system to AM003. And save the project. Now, we need to import the geometry AM003, which you have already downloaded from the ProDAC library. To open the geometry, Double click on Geometry Cell. The Design Modeler window is opened with Unit Setting window. Select Millimeter in the window and say OK. And then click on Generate. The drone assembly is displayed. In this video, we are going to apply mesh only on drone body. So, we need to suppress remaining parts in the drone assembly. To do so, right click on graphical window and choose Select All option. Next, hold the control button and select the drone body. To suppress the parts, right click on the graphical window and choose the Suppress Body option. You can see all parts are suppressed except drone body. Now close the design modeler window. Double click on modal cell to open the mechanical window. The geometry is loading in the mechanical window. On this part, we are going to apply mesh and learn different types of mesh controls. To get started, click on the mesh in the tree outline and the details of mesh window is displayed.
expand the sizing to access the Use Advanced Sizing Function option. When the function Use Advanced Size is off, the masher uses the value of the element size to determine a starting point for the mesh size. The value of the element size can be automatically computed by the measure or user defined. Set use advanced sizing function to off. Next, right click on mesh and select generate mesh. Since advanced size function is off, the mesh is generated without any size functions. Look at the radius surface. Notice how the curved surface is meshed. Now, we'll turn on the advanced size function and also change it to fixed. When the advanced size function is on and set to fixed, the following factors contribute to the final mesh distribution obtained by the mesher. First, minimum size. Second, maximum face size. Third, maximum tetrahedron size. Fourth, growth rate. Set use advanced sizing function to on, fixed. Right click on mesh and insert sizing function. Set selection filter to face. Then Hold Ctrl key and select all radius surfaces one by one. Check properly whether all radius surfaces are selected or not. After selecting all radius surfaces, you need to click on Apply button. Total 145 faces are selected from the drone body.
set element size to 1.5 mm. Next, enter the growth rate to 1.2. and generate mesh. Meshing process will take some time because the element size which we mentioned is less than the previous mesh element size. Now, the mesh generation with on fixed advanced size function is completed. Notice how the element size is relatively uniform on the radius area. Now we'll work on advanced size function in on proximity mode. The proximity size function allows you to specify the minimum number of layers created in regions that constitute gaps in the model. For the purposes of specifying a proximity size function, a gap is defined in one of two ways. First, the internal volumetric region between two faces. Second, the area between two opposing boundary edges of a face. Now, right click on face sizing in the tree outline and delete the face sizing function. Set Use Advanced Sizing Function to On Proximity. To change the default proximity settings, select the respective field and enter the new value. Next, set Num Cells Across Gap to 2. and click on Generate Mesh button. Generating Mesh is in progress. Do not disturb the window while meshing process is on. Mesh is generated with option On Proximity enabled. Notice that there are two elements across the gap over the curved area of radius. Now, we'll mesh by enabling option on curvature under advanced size function. The curvature size function examines curvature on edges and faces and computes element sizes on these entities such that the size will not violate the maximum size or the curvature normal angle, which are either automatically computed by the measure or user-defined. Set Use Advanced Sizing Function to On Curvature and thereafter generate mesh. Now the mesh is generated with on curvature size function enabled. Notice that 
curvature is well resolved by using on curvature function. Now, we'll mesh by enabling option on proximity and curvature under advanced size function. Combined effect of proximity and curvature can be obtained by using this function. All the parameters of the proximity and curvature are used to define this advanced size function. Set use advanced sizing function to on proximity and curvature. After enabling the on proximity and curvature function, click on generate mesh option. Now, mesh generation is going on. Notice that two elements across the gap and curvature is well resolved. After meshing the model, you need to save the file before you exit the ANSYS Workbench session. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.